Um, thank you. It's really, really good to be here. Uh, you know, King Arthur Flower is an employee on business, and uh, I'm here, and they're lucky because I show up every day I'm home and go over to their sample table. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to eat them out of existence. So good. <laughs> but I appreciate that. You know, one of the things I'm thank you, and uh, Lawrence, it's great to see you here, and it's wonderful to be here with all of you. There's a lot of reasons for employee ownership, and we just had a wonderful presentation by Lauren. But one of the things that I find so compelling about it is it's a local commitment to a local economy. That, more than anything else, uh, is what we need. You know, with the forces of globalization, the enormous pressure of dis uh, disruption that's occurring uh, with global markets, global supply chains, global labor, where uh, that's a fact of economic life. One of the best and most effective responses to what that does and potentially can do on the negative side to our communities with the dislocation, with the pressure on wages, uh, with the hollowing out in some cases of our downtowns, is to double down on efforts to build our local economy. And it is a absolute uh, marriage of interest when you have local ownership of a company that by definition is committed to the local economy. It's about trying to reinvest in the community, reinvest in that company. Uh, and it is about reinforcing the importance of a team approach to make the enterprise successful. So that is important for the success of the enterprise that you are a part of, but it's really a, it's, it's an essential a strategy to try to build and maintain the communities that are under just enormous pressure as a result of the forces of globalization. Uh, and you know, one of the things that's been so inspiring to me when uh, I meet with some of our uh, employee-owned companies, as I do every year, when uh, they come down to Arm Twist and make sure uh, that, that Bernie and me and Patrick are, are, are still uh, doing the right thing. Uh, but it ends up being, uh, I mean, it's, we have a good time. One of the things that's been amazing to me, <clears throat> not surprising, is that all of the very uh, essential uh, tools of uh, marketing and analysis and focused on the bottom line and developing systems that work and will reinforce efficiency uh, and cost controls and quality. All of those have to be integrated into an employee-owned business. It's not as though folks who are, as you know, uh, getting involved in, in employee ownership structure uh, are taking some kind of shortcut or think that's a substitute for doing the hard work, the disciplined work, of making certain that the enterprise itself is running on all cylinders, that people are committed and disciplined to doing the job, and that there's an acknowledgement that there's a team effort. Every individual in that organization has to work at his or her best, uh, but they also have to be mindful that it's a team effort, and they have to figure out how to make that team as a whole work together. And, you know, Vermont, we're lucky, too, because there really is a sense of a business being a bit of an extension of the family, and any of us in life, we feel lucky if we have a job. We feel doubly lucky if we have a job that we enjoy doing. And don't ask me about comments. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but you know, it, it, a lot of what it is, I, you know, I was in a, uh, a small law firm for years and years. And uh, you know, my law partner and I never had a written agreement. We never even had a handshake. And we used to argue about money every single year. And at the end of the year, I was arguing he should make more money because he did more cases, and he was arguing I should get more money uh, because, you know, I had tuition to pay or whatever the reason was. And then after, like, two weeks of hard arguing, we ended up splitting it, right? So, uh, but what was so wonderful for me, and I know for you, is that when you're in an organization where there is a commitment uh, to its well-being, it creates uh, emotional relationships at work that for you, day to day, are very rewarding. You look forward to being there. And you look forward to interacting with your colleagues to help them be successful in doing the job, which helps the whole enterprise be successful. So, you know, that's the, 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 the whole ethic of that uh, work uh, in the sharing of the burdens of the challenge and the, sharings of the, the sharing of the rewards uh, of the benefits uh, is a pretty special uh, thing 
that provides very important emotional returns, but it's also a model that could create a very successful enterprise. So uh, we will be reintroducing that, that legislation. Uh, we do have an interesting array of support from John McFlower, the Bernie Sanders, uh, for the work that you do. And of course, Vermont is one of the leaders uh, in employee-owned businesses, and where we're demonstrating, you're demonstrating, really, how extraordinarily successful a company can be at being an extremely good company by all the standard metrics by which uh, enterprises are judged. So I salute you for the work that you're doing. Uh, my job is to try to help you be successful with public policy so that you can do your job, do it better, do it more, and, uh, and spread the gospel. So let me uh, thank you and, and stop here. I don't know if we have time for a question or two. I know you've got a tight schedule, so uh, 